I don't know, since I'm trying to walk Nikki through some of this stuff, and I was showing him some of the uh, stashes that I had. Well, I'm humidifying at the same time. It's the time to humidify. I'm trying to educate him a little bit on it. And he's like, well, what's that good? Oh, I'll take one, thank you, and I'll take one. He's like, I said, no, those are special locations. I said, no, that'll kill you. He's not ready for some of these. You know, I like a lot of heavy body cigars. And he goes, oh, what's that? I said, oh, that'll kill you. So here, I got to be careful with Nicky because he's just starting out. And uh, <laughs> we lit up this one half salt and turned it a little bit green. But he didn't want to put it down because he liked the taste of it so much. So that's where we got to watch out with Nicky now. We're yeah, because the jumps are just a little bit on the... A little strong form. A little full body. Little See, bit. for me now, that was working rather well. I finished that little chub, the rest of that puppy, on the right at home the other night. And I was just like, yeah, that was where I wanted to go. But now, see, that put me in, see, that, you get me started on something like that, and I got to go ask, like, a Viejo or something, like a 601 Viejo or something, or a Man of War. You know, I want something that's really going to kick my ass for a bit. Then that puts me in bed. You know, you take that, a little bit of scotch and, uh, or bourbon. But, uh, you know, I can't be doing drinking and driving at the same time. So <laughs> after I wet my whistle here that night, I was a good boy until I got home. But that'll, that'll be a good scotch, good smoke, or bourbon, and you sit back, put some tunes on, put some wine in the backyard for a little bit, and then go in and wrestle with the kids and the dogs and pat the wife on the butt and say good night. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure.